Beyond his renowned status as a cowboy actor and singer, Roy Rogers led a fascinating life filled with secrets. Starring in over 100 films and television shows, he became a beloved figure of the American West. His trusty steed, Trigger, accompanied him on countless adventures, while classics such as Cool Water and Tumbling Tumbleweeds echoed his love for music. Dubbed the king of the cowboys, Rogers maintained a wholesome image, cherishing his wife and children. However, hidden behind the facade of this all-American hero lay a startling truth, confirmed by his daughter only after his passing. This unexpected revelation challenges our understanding of a man who seemed larger than life itself. Delve deeper into this captivating tale, uncovering the complexities beneath the surface of a true icon. Born Leonard Franklin Sly on November 5, 1911, in Cincinnati, Ohio, the actor who would later become known as Roy Rogers had an early interest in music and performance. At the age of 19, he made the decision to move to California in pursuit of his dreams. It wasn't long before Rogers began making a name for himself in the entertainment industry. He started his musical career by performing with various groups, eventually joining the Sons of the Pioneers in the mid-1930s. This classic group became well known for their harmonies and western style, and they even went on to appear in several films together. In 1938, Rogers' big break came when he signed a contract with Republic Pictures to star in his own series of cowboy movies. It was then that he adopted the stage name Roy Rogers, which would go on to become synonymous with the rugged, heroic image of the American West. Over the course of his career, the actor appeared in more than 100 films and television shows, solidifying his place as a beloved figure in popular culture. Throughout his time in the spotlight, Roy Rogers remained dedicated to his craft and brought joy to countless audiences. His contributions to the world of entertainment continue to resonate today, and he remains a cherished part of this classic genre. Whether through his memorable performances or his iconic status as a symbol of the American West, Roy Rogers will always hold a special place in our hearts. Roy Rogers, also known as the King of the Cowboys, became a beloved figure in the world of film and television. He appeared in over 100 films, often playing a heroic character who fought for justice and helped those in need. His on-screen persona was that of a true Western hero, always ready to lend a hand to those in trouble. In addition to his acting skills, Rogers was also known for his singing talent. He showcased his vocal abilities in many of his films, often performing iconic songs like Cool Water, Tumbling Tumbleweeds, and Happy Trails. These songs became synonymous with the actor and added to his widespread appeal. Roy Rogers was not just a film star, but also a popular figure on the radio and television. He starred in numerous radio and television shows, bringing his unique brand of Western heroism to audiences of all ages. His television show, The Roy Rogers Show, was particularly popular and ran for six seasons from 1951 to 1957. Throughout his career, Roy Rogers remained a true Western icon, beloved by fans for his heroic character, his singing talent, and his commitment to justice. His contributions to the world of film and television continue to resonate with audiences today, and his classic films and shows remain popular with older adults who remember him fondly. Renowned for his loyalty and intelligence, Trigger, the smartest horse in the movies, became an iconic part of this classic actor's on-screen persona. Accompanying him was another constant companion, Bullet, the faithful dog who appeared alongside Rogers in numerous films and shows. Together, they formed a beloved trio that captivated audiences for years. The actor's personal life also held its share of heartache when he lost his second wife, Grace Arlene Wilkins, to complications from childbirth in 1946. However, fate had something else in store for him. In 1947, he married Dale Evans, an accomplished singer, actress, and screenwriter who would become known as the Queen of the West. She contributed significantly to their work together by writing many songs for their films and shows. Evans proved to be more than just a partner. She was a pillar of strength and support throughout the rest of his life. Their marriage lasted until his passing, testifying to their deep love and devotion towards each other. Indeed, it can be said that these two remarkable individuals left an indelible mark on Hollywood history through both their professional achievements and their inspiring relationship. Roy Rogers was a dedicated father who had a large family consisting of both biological and adopted children. In total, he had nine children. Three of these children were his own biological offspring, while the other six were adopted. The actor and his first wife, Grace Arlene Wilkins, welcomed their first child, a daughter named Cheryl Darlene Rogers, in 1940. 
Two years later, they had a son named Roy Jr., also known as Dodie. Sadly, Arlene passed away soon after giving birth to Dodie due to complications from a streptococcus infection. Despite the tragedy, Rogers found love again and married Dale Evans in 1947. Together, they had a daughter named Robin Elizabeth, who was born in 1950. However, their happiness was short-lived when Robin passed away just two days after her birth due to Down syndrome and complications from a heart defect. Devastated by the loss of their daughter, Rogers and Evans turned to adoption. They went on to adopt eight more children over the years, including Mimi, Debbie, Sandy, Marion, Linda, and John David. Tragically, the couple faced further heartbreak when their adopted son, Josh, died in a drowning accident in 1968, and another adopted son, Kevin, passed away from complications related to muscular dystrophy in 1986. Throughout it all, Rogers remained devoted to his family and continued to support them through thick and thin. His unwavering dedication to his loved ones serves as a testament to the importance of family in his life. Even amidst personal losses and hardships, he never wavered in his commitment to providing a loving home for each of his children. In 1954, the actor Roy Rogers and his wife Dale Evans adopted a young girl named Marion Fleming. Marion, who was born in an air raid shelter during World War II in Scotland, had a remarkable background. She had caught the attention of the couple during a visit to Dunforth Children's Home, where she had impressed them with her singing talents. Marion's adoption by Roy Rogers and Dale Evans marked a significant turning point in her life. She moved to California and became a part of the Rogers family, which included her new sister Dodie. Marion, who later became known as Mimi Swift, adapted well to her new life in California. She became close to her sister Dottie and enjoyed her new family and home. Mimi's adoption by Roy Rogers and Dale Evans was a heartwarming story that captured the attention of many. The couple's decision to adopt Marion after being impressed by her singing talents was a testament to their love and compassion. Marion's adoption also highlighted the importance of providing a loving home to children in need. In conclusion, Marion Fleming's adoption by Roy Rogers and Dale Evans was a significant event in her life. The young girl, who was born in an air raid shelter during World War II, found a loving home with the famous couple. Marion, later known as Mimi Swift, adapted well to her new life in California and became close to her sister Dottie. The adoption was a heartwarming story that highlighted the importance of providing a loving home to children in need. Mimi Swift, daughter of the beloved actor Roy Rogers, shared her father's passion for music. Together, they often sang at events and shows, creating beautiful harmonies that touched the hearts of many. Mimi's love for music was only surpassed by her embrace of her father's Christian faith and humanitarian spirit. Roy Rogers, known for his roles in films and shows that showcased his exceptional acting skills and singing talent, was not just a father to Mimi, but also a role model. He instilled in her the importance of faith, family, and giving back to the community. Mimi, in turn, honored her father's memory by living a life of joy and inspiration. Mimi's impact went beyond being a wonderful daughter, sister, mother, and grandmother. She was a friend to many, always ready to lend a helping hand or offer a kind word. Mimi's warmth and generosity were a reflection of her father's own values, making her a true embodiment of his legacy. Mimi Swift's life was a testament to the enduring influence of her father, the actor Roy Rogers. She embraced his passion for music, his faith, and his humanitarian spirit, becoming a source of inspiration to those around her. Mimi's life was a beautiful song, a melody that resonated with the values and ideals that her father held dear. Her impact continues to be felt, a legacy that transcends generations and inspires all who knew her. Roy Rogers, once a beloved and successful actor, faced several financial challenges later in his career. After losing his deal with Republic Pictures, he decided to start his own company. However, this new venture did not go as planned and only added to his financial struggles. The actor was forced to sell off properties and valuable collectibles in order to cover mounting debts and taxes. This included the sale of his famous horse, Trigger, who was preserved and displayed in several locations after his death. In addition to these financial setbacks, the actor also lost money in legal battles and bad investments. These losses further contributed to his financial difficulties and made it difficult for him to maintain his previous lifestyle. Despite these challenges, Roy Rogers continued to work in the film and television industry, appearing in numerous shows and movies. However, the financial struggles he faced later in his career were a significant challenge 
and had a lasting impact on his financial well-being. Roy Rogers, a devout Christian, faced financial difficulties early in his career. However, he never wavered in his faith and relied on God's grace to see him through tough times. He often prayed and read the Bible with his wife, Dale Evans, and together they supported various Christian causes. Rogers' faith was an integral part of his life, both on and off the screen. His films and television shows often reflected his Christian values, and he was known for portraying characters with strong moral compasses. In his personal life, Rogers was a devoted husband and father, considering his family his greatest treasure. Despite facing financial struggles, Rogers remained committed to his faith and family. He understood the importance of staying true to his values, even in the face of adversity. Through his unwavering faith and dedication to his loved ones, Rogers became a role model for generations of fans. The actor's commitment to his faith and family was evident in his philanthropic efforts. He and his wife were active supporters of Christian charities and often used their platform to promote Christian values. They believed that their success was a blessing from God, and they wanted to use it to give back to their community. Roger's legacy as a man of faith and family values continues to inspire people today. His story serves as a reminder that, with faith, family, and hard work, anyone can overcome adversity and achieve their dreams. Whether on the silver screen or in his personal life, Roy Rogers remained true to his values, leaving behind a legacy that continues to resonate with audiences today. Roy Rogers, the beloved actor and singer, passed away on July 6, 1998, at his ranch in Apple Valley, California. He was surrounded by his wife Dale Evans and other family members during his final moments. Just shortly before his death, Rogers had reconciled with his estranged son, Dusty Rogers. It was a heartwarming moment for the family and as they spent time together, the actor reportedly turned to his son and said, I never expected to see you in heaven. These were his last words to Dusty, leaving a lasting impact on their relationship. Throughout his life, Roy Rogers was known for his roles in numerous films and TV shows, including The Roy Rogers Show, which aired from 1951 to 1957. His charm and charisma captured the hearts of audiences, and his contributions to the world of entertainment will always be remembered. Despite his success, Rogers faced personal struggles, including the estrangement from his son. However, in his final moments, he was able to reconcile and find closure. It was a poignant reminder of the importance of family and forgiveness, leaving a lasting legacy for those who knew and loved him. As the sun set on that day in July, the world lost a true icon of the entertainment industry. But for those who knew him best, the memories of Roy Rogers will live on, forever etched in their hearts. On July 11th, the life of beloved actor Roy Rogers was celebrated at Sunset Hills Memorial Park in Apple Valley. Hundreds gathered to pay their respects, among them many familiar faces from the entertainment industry. The air was filled with emotion as Dale Evans, Rogers' loving partner both on and off screen, stepped up to deliver a heartfelt eulogy. Her words were poignant and sincere, serving as a testament to their deep bond. Following her speech, she joined their children in singing Happy Trails, a song closely associated with a couple and their wholesome image. As news of Roger's passing spread, messages of admiration poured in from all corners. High-profile figures like President Clinton, country singer Clint Black, fellow Western star Gene Autry, pop icon Pat Boone, and television writer Michael Landon Jr. each shared touching tributes highlighting the late actor's extraordinary character. They spoke volumes about his warmth, generosity, and unwavering humility, qualities that endeared him to fans worldwide. Throughout his career, spanning over three decades, the actor left an indelible mark on cinema and television. His roles often embodied virtues of courage, integrity, and goodwill, resonating deeply with audiences young and old. Even today, this classic cowboy continues to captivate viewers through reruns and remakes, introducing newer generations to his timeless charm. Indeed, Roy Rogers' legacy extends beyond mere acting prowess. He stood for something greater, setting standards of kindness, grace, and morality that remain relevant even now. In every episode, concert, or public appearance, he consistently demonstrated these traits, earning him not just fame but also genuine affection from millions. And so, while we bid farewell to the man himself, his spirit lives on continuing to inspire us all. Once upon a time in the golden age of Hollywood, a man named Leonard Franklin Sly, later known as Roy Rogers, became a beloved figure in American culture. Born on November 5, 1911, in Cincinnati, Ohio, 
He began his journey in the entertainment industry during the Great Depression. Roy Rogers started as a singer and songwriter, joining a group called Sons of the Pioneers, which gained popularity through radio broadcasts and movies, but it was his acting career that truly skyrocketed him to fame. In 1938, he landed his first leading role in a film titled Under Western Stars, marking the beginning of a successful career spanning over three decades. As a star of over 100 films and the host of several television shows, including The Roy Rogers Show from 1951 to 1957, he captivated audiences with his charm, talent, and iconic persona. Alongside his loyal horse Trigger and his lovely co-star Dale Evans, they formed one of the most cherished families in classic Western television. Throughout his illustrious career, Roy Rogers received numerous accolades, including two stars on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, one for motion pictures and another for television. He also left an indelible impact on the genre by introducing musical elements into traditional westerns, further solidifying his status as an accomplished artist. Even after retiring from show business, Roy Rogers continued to resonate within popular culture. His life story transcends generations, inspiring many to step into the world of entertainment and keep his legacy alive. And so, we remember this remarkable cowboy who brought joy and excitement to millions through his work leaving behind an intriguingly woven tapestry in the annals of history. Picture this a true testament to the power of dreams, where determination and talent merge to create something truly special, much like our friend Roy Rogers. Lenny Sly, later known as Roy Rogers, was born on November 5, 1911, in Cincinnati, Ohio. His parents, Matt and Mary Sly, moved the family to Portsmouth, Ohio, when he was young. With three brothers and two sisters, Rogers' childhood was full of love and laughter. The Sly children often spent time singing together, which sparked Rogers' interest in music and performing. The family eventually relocated to California during the Great Depression, seeking better opportunities. This move allowed Rogers to pursue his dreams more easily. He began entering local talent contests and found success as a singer and guitarist. At one contest, he met Bob Nolan, a member of the famous singing cowboy group, the Sons of the Pioneers. Impressed by Rogers' talents, Nolan invited him to join the group in 1934. As part of the Sons of the Pioneers, Rogers learned about harmony singing and stage presence. He also gained valuable experience touring and recording songs like Cool Water and Tumbling Tumbleweeds. These years exposed Rogers to various aspects of show business, shaping him into a versatile performer. During this time, Rogers became friends with another rising star, Gene Autry. Autry had already achieved considerable fame as a singing cowboy and served as an inspiration for Rogers. They shared ideas about acting, singing, and horsemanship, further fueling Rogers' passion for Western entertainment. Eventually, Rogers would follow in Autry's footsteps, becoming an iconic figure himself. After leaving the Sons of the Pioneers, Rogers embarked on a successful solo career in film and radio. Throughout his life, he remained grateful for the guidance and support he received from his family, the Sons of the Pioneers, and Gene Autry. Their influence laid the foundation for Roy Rogers' extraordinary journey in Hollywood and beyond. Ever since he was a young boy, Roy Rogers had a deep love for horses and singing. Growing up on a ranch in Duck Run, Ohio, he spent most of his time riding and caring for his horses. His talent for singing was discovered when he was just 13 years old after he won a local singing contest. This early recognition of his talent fueled his desire to pursue a career in music and acting. He started performing at local events and soon caught the attention of movie producers in Hollywood. In 1935, at the age of 19, he signed a contract with Warner Brothers and made his film debut in the movie Under Western Stars. Despite his success in Hollywood, Roy Rogers never forgot his roots. He continued to sing and perform at rodeos and county fairs, and even started his own radio show called The Roy Rogers Show. He also remained a devoted animal lover and established the Roy Rogers Dale Evans Happy Trails Children's Foundation, which provides support for children with special needs. Throughout his career, Roy Rogers remained a true cowboy at heart, always staying true to his values and his love for horses and music. His passion for his craft and his dedication to his fans have left a lasting impact on the world of entertainment and will always be remembered. Roy Rogers, born Leonard Sly in 1911, faced numerous challenges on his journey to becoming a beloved actor and singer. Financial struggles were a constant companion during his early years. To make ends meet, he worked as a newspaper delivery boy 
and tried his hand at various jobs, including fruit picking and construction work. In the world of acting, Rogers encountered skepticism due to his humble beginnings and lack of formal training. Undeterred, he honed his craft through persistence and determination. He began his career in the 1930s as a singing cowboy in small-time films, gradually making a name for himself in the industry. Rogers's innovative spirit led him to create unique solutions to the obstacles he faced. He formed a partnership with his fellow actors, known as the Sons of the Pioneers, to write and perform their own music for their films. This approach allowed them to stand out in a competitive industry and showcase their talents. Despite the financial hardships and industry skepticism, Roy Rogers's resilience and creativity enabled him to become a successful actor and singer. His legacy continues to inspire and entertain audiences to this day. His story serves as a testament to the power of perseverance and the importance of believing in oneself. In 1938, a young man named Leonard Sly, later known as Roy Rogers, found his breakthrough moment when he joined the Hollywood cowboy group, Sons of the Pioneers. His exceptional singing and acting skills quickly made him stand out. By 1943, Rogers had become a solo star. That same year, he landed the lead role in the Republic Pictures musical Western, The Cowboy, and The Senorita, which became a major hit and solidified his status as a leading man. Colleague Dale Evans, who would later become his wife, praised Rogers for his natural charisma and ability to connect with audiences. One of Rogers' most iconic roles came in 1951. With the release of Don't Gamble with Strangers, this film marked a departure from his usual good guy image, showcasing his versatility as an actor. Critics took notice, praising his performance for its depth and complexity. However, it was Rogers' television series, The Roy Rogers Show, that truly catapulted him to stardom. As one of the first shows to feature a singing cowboy, it captured the hearts of millions of viewers. Pierre Jean Autry even declared that Rogers had surpassed him in popularity during this period. Throughout his career, Roy Rogers broke barriers and set new standards for Western actors. He left an indelible mark on both cinema and television, creating a legacy that continues to inspire generations today. Roy Rogers, born Leonard Sly in 1911, was a popular American actor, singer, and cowboy who brought a unique style to the Western genre. His artistic vision and process were deeply rooted in his personal experiences and worldview. Roy Rogers' approach to his work was characterized by his genuine love for the Western lifestyle. Growing up in rural Cincinnati, he developed a deep appreciation for the great outdoors and the simple pleasures of farm life. This authentic connection to the land and its people became the foundation of his artistic vision. His unique style was marked by his ability to seamlessly blend action, comedy, and music in his films. Rogers often incorporated his singing talents into his roles, creating a unique blend of entertainment that set him apart from his contemporaries. He once said, I never wanted to be a big star. I just wanted to be a decent entertainer and make a living at it. This humble approach to his work allowed him to connect with audiences on a deeper level. Roy Rogers' personal experiences and worldview were also reflected in his work. His strong sense of morality and justice was a recurring theme in his films, as he often portrayed characters that stood up for what was right. Additionally, his Christian faith played a significant role in his life and work, with many of his films containing subtle religious messages. In conclusion, Roy Rogers' artistic vision and process were deeply rooted in his personal experiences and worldview. His genuine love for the Western lifestyle, combined with his unique ability to blend action, comedy, and music, created a style that was both entertaining and authentic. Through his work, Roy Rogers left a lasting impact on the Western genre and continues to be cherished by fans to this day. Roy Rogers, born Leonard Sly in 1911, was a significant figure in the Western genre of film and television. His impact and influence extend beyond his own work, having shaped the industry and inspired many. Rogers' career took off in the 1930s with his band, The Sons of the Pioneers. They introduced a new style of Western music, blending traditional cowboy tunes with harmonies reminiscent of barbershop quartets. This innovative fusion laid the groundwork for the popular country Western genre that followed. In 1938, Rogers transitioned to acting, debuting in Under Western Stars. His portrayal of a singing cowboy was a refreshing departure from the stoic, silent heroes of earlier Westerns. Rogers' characters were kind, honest, and always ready to help those in need, a stark contrast to the anti-heroes prevalent in contemporary films. His influence reached beyond the screen. 
In 1943, Rogers married Dale Evans, and their on-screen chemistry translated into real life. They became one of Hollywood's most beloved couples, often co-starring in films and television shows. Together, they broke barriers by featuring interracial casts, promoting racial equality long before it was commonplace in the industry. Moreover, Rogers and Evans used their platform to advocate for children's welfare. They adopted four children, two of whom had special needs, and founded the Happy Trails Children's Foundation, which continues to support abused and neglected children today. Industry experts and those inspired by Rogers highlight his enduring impact. Leonard Malton, film critic and historian, notes Roy Rogers was a true trailblazer, bringing a warmth and humanity to westerns that made them accessible to a wider audience. Modern-day western stars like Sam Elliott echo this sentiment. Elliott recalls being inspired by Rogers' portrayal of the cowboy as a hero, stating, He showed us that strength and kindness could coexist, leaving a legacy that continues to influence the genre today. In summary, Roy Rogers' contributions to the Western genre, music, and society at large are immeasurable. His innovative approach to storytelling, commitment to social issues, and portrayal of the cowboy as a hero continue to resonate, inspiring generations of industry professionals and fans alike. Roy Rogers, known as the King of the Cowboys, led a life full of passion and values both on and off the camera. He was born Leonard Franklin Sly on November 5, 1911, in Cincinnati, Ohio. As a young man, he pursued his love for music by performing on local radio stations before moving to California during the Great Depression. There, he found work in Hollywood's Western film industry. Married to Dale Evans in 1947, they became one of America's favorite celebrity couples. Together, they shared common values centered around faith, family, and hard work. They raised four children, some from previous marriages, and others they adopted together. Their blended family was often featured in films and television shows, promoting unity and acceptance. Outside acting, Roy had many hobbies reflective of traditional American pastimes, riding horses, roping cattle, and playing guitar. These passions were seamlessly integrated into his movie roles, making them more authentic and relatable to audiences. His wholesome image extended beyond films when he lent his voice to create popular songs like Happy Trails and The Cowboy's Prayer. Generosity defined much of Roy Rogers' life. Along with Dale, they established the Happy Trails Children's Foundation, which supports abused and neglected kids. Over the years, it has provided millions of dollars towards building shelters, medical care, and educational opportunities. In addition, after his passing in 1998, Dale continued their charitable legacy until her death in 2001. To sum up, while Roy Rogers will always be remembered for his iconic cowboy persona, it was his genuine character and dedication to helping others that truly set him apart. Through his movies, music, and philanthropy, he left an indelible mark on American culture and continues to inspire generations today. Roy Rogers, a true icon of the Western genre, left an indelible mark on the film and television industry. With a career spanning over three decades, Rogers captivated audiences with his charm, charisma, and exceptional horsemanship. His legacy extends beyond the silver screen, as he became a symbol of American values and a beloved figure for generations. Aspiring professionals in the entertainment industry can learn from Rogers' dedication, hard work, and authenticity. He once said, you have to be yourself and stay true to who you are, even if that means going against the grain. This advice is as relevant today as it was during his career. Rogers' impact on the Western genre is undeniable, and his influence can still be seen in modern storytelling. He believed in the power of entertainment to bring people together and to inspire positive change. Always remember that your work can touch people's lives, he once shared. Use that power responsibly and with kindness. As for the future, Rogers would likely encourage aspiring professionals to embrace innovation while staying grounded in the timeless values that have defined the industry. He would likely remind them to remain authentic, work hard, and always strive for excellence. In the ever-evolving landscape of entertainment, Rogers' legacy serves as a testament to the enduring appeal of great storytelling, strong values, and a commitment to one's craft. By following in his footsteps and staying true to themselves, aspiring professionals can make their own mark and contribute to the rich tapestry of the entertainment industry. Roy Rogers began his journey in Duck Run, Ohio, where he was born Leonard Franklin Sly on November 5, 1911. His love for music led him to form a group called the Sons of the Pioneers, which became quite popular. 
but it was acting that truly captured his heart. In 1938, he made his film debut in Under Western Stars. This marked the start of an illustrious career spanning over three decades. Known as the King of the Cowboys, Rogers brought something fresh to the screen, blending singing, comedy, and action seamlessly into his roles. He starred in more than 100 films and numerous television shows, often alongside his loyal horse Trigger and his equally famous co-star Dale Evans. Together they formed a beloved trio that captivated audiences everywhere. Off-screen, Rogers was just as innovative. Recognizing the potential of merchandising early on, he licensed his image and name extensively, creating a lucrative business empire that included toys, clothing, and even cereal. This entrepreneurial spirit set new standards for how celebrities could leverage their fame beyond traditional media platforms. Despite facing personal tragedies and changing times, Rogers remained dedicated to entertaining until his death on July 6, 1998. Throughout his life, he demonstrated unwavering passion, adaptability, and foresight, elements crucial to success then and now. Reflecting on Rogers' legacy underscores the immense power of creativity and persistence. From humble beginnings to becoming an icon of American culture, his story serves as a testament to what can be achieved when one follows their dreams relentlessly. Let's take a moment to remember Roy Rogers, the legendary actor and singer who left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. With a career spanning over four decades, Rogers captivated audiences with his charm, talent, and versatility. Born Leonard Franklin Sly on November 5, 1911, in Cincinnati, Ohio, Rogers began his journey in the entertainment world as a member of the Sons of the Pioneers, a popular Western singing group. In the mid-1930s, he transitioned to acting and quickly became a household name, known for his roles in numerous Western films and television shows. Throughout his career, Roy Rogers showcased his exceptional writing skills, singing abilities, and acting prowess, making him a beloved figure in the world of entertainment. His work resonates with many, even today, as a testament to his enduring impact and lasting legacy. Now we'd love to hear from you. What are your favorite memories or thoughts on Roy Rogers' work and legacy? Share them with us in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this content, please remember to like, share, and subscribe for more celebrations of the creative spirits shaping entertainment. Your support helps us continue to create engaging and informative content for you to enjoy.